How old are the atoms in my body? Did they travel from distant galaxies or from different planets? Each and every atom in our body has been existent all around the galaxy for billions of years. We curiously describe that meteorites and asteroids that collide with Earth as something falling from space. But they are made up of the same material and are derived from common origins as the materials found on Earth. Every single atom in our body, the carbon in your genes, the iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, was created once in a star billions of years ago. So eventually, we all are the products of stars. Interestingly, everything we see around us on Earth, all life forms, consists of various combinations of 92 elements. If we go back in time and happen to see our planet, we'll discover it was just a collection of the same stones and metals that are present today. As we all know, water is found in abundance in our planet, and all the living things here consist of water molecules in abundance. A fraction of the matter you're most likely drifting about in in the solar system is water. Definitely, space rocks have lots and lots of iron and other heavy metals, but we use a small fraction of it. Water is the most likely material to have traveled from space to our body. The water molecule is good in mixing around as it's an excellent solvent. It won't make sense to say that a particular water molecule is from anywhere in particular. Most of the materials in our body are not only from the far side of the planet, but have probably been there for a long, long time. It's been estimated that literally 20 tons of materials is collected by our planet every single day in the form of ice flakes, meteors, space dust, etc. You would discover these stuff everywhere on Earth in the form of tiny specks. The exact fraction of water out of the total material drifting around our solar system is unknown. We consider 10% this is a gross estimate of the 20 tons of matter that shifts from space to Earth every single day to be water. So this import of water has been going on since our planet was formed. With this logic, if we do a calculation of the water we have imported from space, the answer is a staggering 730,000 tons of water for the past 1,000 years. This amount sounds like it is huge. But when we look back to Earth, it already has 1.4 sextillion tons of water in it. The 730,000 tons which Earth imported from space is like a drop of water in a bucket. Which means that one out of every two trillion water molecules on Earth and in our bodies are derived from deep space. It is true to say that there is space water in all living bodies, one molecule in a few dozens of cells. These waters are derived from our own solar system. Only a scarce material comes in once a star system is formed. Majority of the stuff in space is ultra-fine dust and gas. These are being blown away by star flares and the solar wind of an active star. It has been estimated that roughly 0.01% of the dust present in the solar system is derived from outer space. This boils down to one part in 20 quadrillion molecule of water molecules being from outer space, which suggests that 50 billion of the water molecules in our body are basically derived from outside of the solar system. If you've liked Inkstall's edutainment, then go to inkstall.in and sign up for free. Producing our videos takes a lot of time. If you'd like to support Inkstall, you can do so on patreon.com forward slash inkstall. Please refer the link below to buy Inkstall's book on space, time, and beyond.